Hi, this is Paul from AppWorks, and today I'm going to show you a little tip about how to export related data from a FileMaker file. This is something that can confuse people sometimes because when you export from, say, a company record and you want to get all of the employees included, you end up with something that looks a little funny. It's still readable, but just isn't probably quite what you want. So, for instance, we go normally file, then export records, and we're going to do an Excel worksheet. place what's already there. Uh, you usually want this checked just because it gives you column headers, which is nice. You can name these whatever you like. And then in this case, we're going to do the company name, the address, and then the related data, which right now shows up in current layout because those fields are visible here. But if they're not visible, you could also just go in here and select a related table like this, person, and go to first name, last name, it's an email and say export. And what you get is this list of all the companies and all of the employees, but you only get the company name on the first record for each person. And then the rest of the people are just blank, which is fine in some cases, but isn't super useful, I find. So what you would want to do instead is create a script. Say new script. And you would say go to related records. Because what you, you really want to do is export from the people table because that's the main set of data. So you'd say go to the people using a different layout. Show only related for all records in the current found set. That way all companies that you have showing right now, you'll see all of their employees. And then you would to show you what that looks like. You run that, it brings you here, you now have all the people that work for those different companies. And then you would want to say export. And we say the file, it's going to be a Excel file. And we'll just use that same one and replace it automatically open for our purposes. Everything's the same. And then for the export order, you see we're actually going to use the same fields, but since we're in the context of the person table, now these just say first and last instead of person first and last, and the company info says company address, and then company, company name. So if we go back to the company layout and run this script, What we're going to get is a list of everybody, and each person has a company name in here. However, this probably still isn't exactly what you want because now, in addition to having everybody, they're all out of order. So they're just mixing basically in the order in which they were created. So if you want to fix that, what you would do is you come here and you would say, before you export, you would sort the records. And you're going to want to sort by the related company and the company name. And then maybe, if you're feeling anal, you could also sort it by maybe the person's first name and then their last name. So save that. And then we're back here on company. And if you had a button that ran this or you did it manually, you run it again. And now everybody is sorted first by company name and then by first name, and then by last name. And that gets you pretty much all of the data that you'd want to get, and everything's filled in here. And the only other thing you might want to do is, if this is something that gets exported a lot, and maybe you work with it a lot, and you want it to look nice, some people don't like having the related d uh, table listed here, um, and they would rather just say address. So you could come in here each time and manually change it, which is pretty easy, but, what a lot of people would prefer to do is have it just look that way forever uh, for each export. So what you would do if you wanted to do that is you'd have to create a new field in here so that it gets the field name. It's not ideal, but it does work. It creates a little bit of clutter. 
But you come in here and you would say in the person table, company name, and you gotta make sure you're in the person table. Make it a calculation. And then it's gonna be coming from the related company. And it's just gonna basically be showing the same data. Make sure it's text. And then maybe address. Okay, and then in the script, you would have to change the fields that are coming out. So get rid of these two. And instead you would select company name and address. You can leave the sort how it is because it's basically sorting on the same data. So if we run this one more time, you end up with these nice headers that don't have the extra related table data. So that's the basics on how to export related data. I hope that's been helpful for everyone.